Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Icarus. Um, one thing I'd like to say is um, I'm pleased to see that the developers have uh, improved the load times. I remember previously when I was playing this game, it could take up to five, six, seven minutes to load. Um, I just timed it this time from sort of clicking resume to being in the world was about 30 seconds. So it actually makes it a bit more realistic now because there's no pause in this game to actually drop out the character selection screen and then come back in. Previously, with such long load times, it was ridiculous. You know, you didn't want to sort of stop the game, drop out, go and have a wee say, and then spend the next 10 minutes waiting for the game to load up. It was it was beyond a joke. So now that the load time's done, been around about 30 seconds, yeah, that's more achievable. So uh, good good job, guys. Right, where were we? Oh yeah, I think we're just about to go to bed, weren't we? It is quarter to ten at night, so let's... Oh, no, don't hit it. I want to sleep on it. And here we are, day four, I believe this is. Um, what I would like to do is try and get up to um, get the better items under tier two. Uh, I doubt I'll be able to do this video because um, I think I'm only level six at the moment, yeah. And I need to be at least level ten. And then to get the stonemason's bench, which is somewhere over here. Uh, masonry bench, there we go, is level 15, so I'm another 9 levels away, so there's a while to go yet. Um, but, you know, we'll crack on, we'll keep going. Um, we'll still expand our base. Um, sorry, I can't remember the, the, the person saying, but somebody said to me, you don't need to put the drying rack in your building. Apparently you can put it outside. That's great, but um, it's a good little tip, I guess, but the thing is, if it's outside... How does anything dry? In reality, in a real world, it wouldn't dry, would it? Okay, you can say this is a game and this isn't real life, but come on. <laughs> Bit realistic. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good tip for people to know. So they're struggling to find somewhere to put this dry rack, because it is fairly big. It pretty much takes up a whole square of your base. Then you can't put it outside, apparently. I haven't tried it myself, but there we go. Um, I need to eat some food. So consume that. Consume that. That's just better to go off, so I consume that. Um, I've got a f quite a bit of few bits on me. I just want to dump some of this somewhere if I can. And no fur, but I've got how much leather? Um, let's keep some leather on me. Uh, bones? How many bones? Got all the bones I've got. Now got some bones there. Um, what I like to do is try and sort of group these by what they are. So. Um, We've got fibre, we've got sticks. Sorry, we've got fibre, we've got sticks, and then we have wood. Um, obviously, got more fibre. The sticks are neat because I've got loads of sticks here and sticks here, and so that's fair enough. And then this one's bones, leather, and fur, which I don't have. So let's just. Oh, it's fibre, that's why. Um, bones, leather, and I don't have any furs on me, I don't really need them on me. So, as far as I'm concerned, I can pretty much dump all of this, these items here. I say dump, drop them off. So that's ones for um, animal parts. What's this one in here? I've got, okay, I've got that one full already. And then what we've got here, that one's full. And that one's, ooh, I could do moving them. Go away. Go on, what am I doing? Pull it over. Why can't I? Hmm, something strange going on. Oh, there we go. Just me being stupid. Rather than put these in here, I'll make stone uh, wood piles out of them. But I believe I've got my. S yeah. I've got these over here, so I'll keep them together. Um, and I'll just click take all by mistake. <laughs> this was closing and I click take all. Um, let's move it back. I don't mean to take all. And if only just know that oxide, stone, sulfur, and silica. Right. Close. Oh, and I don't need the, the salt on me. I can go in there as well. Close that. Right. 
Chris. The trees are back again. What on earth is going on? Um. I am more than a little confused now. My torch has just run out as well. So I noticed in previous episodes that um, this stone had come back. But I cleared out a fair bit around here. Not just these sticks and these <laughs> these spawn, but a lot of this stuff here, all these trees were gone. I've taken out some of the bigger trees. I think come back maybe to bigger trees haven't. No, I think they have actually. Um But it looks like it's all come back. Now is that a recent change? Somebody tell me if that's a recent change that uh, stuff respawns now where it didn't previously. Um so I used to quite like clearing out quite a big area around here so that uh, I could see if anything was coming in but obviously with everything just respawning back that's making it a bit more challenging odd very odd anyway let's go to my short on anything now food water good all good has the oxide and things like that come back I was over this way wasn't it No, so it doesn't look like the oxide's returned, but the vegetation has. No, I'll say that. There's a couple of oxide there. I thought I cleared them. Maybe they didn't clear all of those. There was some sulphur somewhere around here as well, I believe, but... Okay, let's just uh, have another quick look around the island. See if there's anything else that's... come back, that shouldn't have come back, or respawned, or... Pronghorn. Got him. I'll have my arrow back, thank you. Is a pronghorn a new one, Sol? I play too many games and I forget what's in each one. A pronghorn, I don't remember it being a pronghorn. Um, yeah, the sulphur's back, I'm sure. Definitely positive I cleared that sulphur. You know what, I'm going to clear it anyway, so if next time I log in, it is there. I know it is um, something I've changed in the game, or a problem with the game, or... So maybe I've seen an update and I missed it. Uh, if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. I know now you can you can create a spade and um, build dirt piles and things like that. Is that what we need to do to stop vegetation stuff coming back now? I don't know. I'm just guessing. I really am. Anyway, let's get down to... Um, Building our log piles. I'm overcumbered now because I've just built that. Build another one. I think I've got enough to build three. Yeah. I'm not going to be short on wood or stone, that's a certain one. Let's fill my sponge with some water. Alright, that deer ran over this way, didn't it? Probably was long gone.
Let's see what we can find. Um, another thing I'd have thought about is um, in a previous episode I found a deep mine uh, point here and up here. And I didn't build anything there because if you build stuff out of wood it decays. But then I remembered that the wooden pillars, which ones are uh, find them, these ones, wooden beams, don't actually decay. So let me see if I can... Another pronghorn. So yeah, so to uh, build that um, pillar, I am going to need some wood and I've just realised we've got no wood left, so I'm quickly going to chop down a tree as well. See if I can. Um, I thought it was over this way a bit. Oh, no, nope, more that way. Gone too far. And I know you can uh, go online as a site where you can download where everything is where all the um, deep veins are and all the mines and things like that. But I don't particularly like doing that. I have done in the past, I have looked in the past, but one, I don't remember where they are. And uh, yeah. there it is. That's what I was after. Um, no, I don't want the character, I want that. Uh, and two, I just think it distracts on the game if you know where everything is off the bat. So let me build... No, I don't. Let's build four. There we go, I should be able to see that now. Right. And there's another one down this other side. Oh no, Terror Horse. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, he's got a little one. I oh know it's another one. <laughs> Let's just uh, clear this up. Oh, that's me up a level. It's level seven, good. Run and be free, little rabbit. I don't need you at the moment. Right, so it's actually... It's just... Over this way, if I remember correctly. It's my stamina tanked, and... So that will help. These are carrots, by the way, which you can cook. Um, I'm not going to pick them just yet because I've got no room in my inventory. Although I could uh, just destroy that. Yeah, don't need that. Right, where was this other deep vein? It was somewhere around here. 
I'm in the right place. Yes, I am. There's a wolf. Thank you. It's going to break my knife now. Yep, thought so. Just drop that in there. You know what says I'm here, let's just grab some oxygen. Stamina tank. So yeah, I read another series uh, by Rocket Watch as well called Station Ears, which is another base building game, effectively but it's in space. And rather than going up levels, you um, you've got to unlock um, technology by creating better printers and things like that. Um, that's really good as well. Um, I do run a series on that. It's on my channel if you want to go and have a look at it. Uh, to be fair, probably to my play way more of that than I do of this. It just really appeals to me. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's another game by Rocketworks. Uh, they seem to do really well in these sort of base building games. Um, and I'll be interested to see what they're working on next. I know that Station Ears isn't a profitable um, enterprise for them. They're doing it more out of... Um, enjoyment themselves I guess than anything else but again it's constantly being updated as is this game um, making it more complicated all the time actually they keep adding more complexity to it so that you know you've really got to have a, a base that runs and you've got to take into account your oxygen needs, CO2 needs of the plants, temperatures, pressures, things like that um, I've just recently been building rockets within the game and um, what's that? I don't know. Um, so you can then go and explore the space around where you are, and yes, that's another good game. But yeah, it's not, it is slightly along the lines of this in that you are a base building game, right? I'm loaded up with stuff. I'm going to go back to my base and drop some wood off. I can't find that um, node. I did think it was just around here, somewhere, but obviously, even though I tried to remember where it was, I can't. <laughs> I honestly thought it was about there. Might have been up this way, I don't know. Yeah, let's just keep running around this way a little bit, have a look. No doubt I'll stumble across it again, and when I do, I'll have to put down uh... Oh crap, what's that? It's a wolf. Where's he gone? <sighs> My door's fallen in the water! No, I've got no room in inventory. Take a drink from that. What have I got in my inventory? Move that over. There we go. Is that rabbit still swimming around? Right. You can go away. And you. And you. They're the poisonous fish. Alright, let's dump some more stuff. I need more crates. Oh, that needs more wood. Um, 
Anything special from there? No, I'll just stick them all in here. And take that. And that. I don't need my fire whacker with me all the time either. I only need it when uh, my base is on fire. So I can stay in here. You can go over there. You can go in there. You can go in there. So can you. Leather I'll keep on me. Yeah, I need to build some more. Actually, where's that wood? I've just stuck it all now, haven't I? I'll just grab some. I want to build uh, a couple more big crates. Yeah, some more leather. I knew I had some more somewhere. I will let me replace these with um, cupboards because they take a store more and have a smaller footprint. Um, yeah, where was I? This one. Leather can go in there. Let's put sticks in here. Um, Fibre can go on me there. That's okay. Uh, you can go away. Your food. So I'll just put down. There's more wood there, actually, you can just grab that. And you can go in there. Right. What tech did we get? What tech can we get? Just say, not did, did we get? Can we get? So I want the hearth, the fire pit, it's just better than the fire. Now do I want this shovel? Don't know. Don't know if I need it. Don't know if I need it. I've got that bandage. I could do with that bandage in case I get mauled by something. Floor torch. Yeah, I want that because it can build a better torch in your cabin. And, um, oh, I've got one point left. Do I want to waste on that? I'll wait till next time. What else can we do? Stone can. A pile of stone which can mark a significant location for a prospector. That's kind of what I want, isn't it? For marking that location with a. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for that. Talent points. One talent point. Okay, uh, I want to slow the decay of food in my inventory. And I don't think I've got a solo one now. Okay, so what did I get there? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, floor standing um, torches. And the fire pit. So. What do I need to craft the fire pit? 100 stone. Guess what I've got out here. Now, fire pit, craft that. Okay, I can go in my hot bar. There, pick this up. You can actually go by the side of it there. Um, take that. you up. Don't really need you anymore but um, wood. Don't we need a lift in the moment? I'll stick this in. You see a lot more slots in here, that's why I did it. It's quite a good place to store in um, charcoal. 
that it's needed. Yeah, deactivate, don't need you. So then next thing I want is some floor torches. Uh, floor torches, let's make sure I get the right ones. There, what do I need? Sulfur? Well, I know I've got sulfur because I went and dug some up. Um, there, how many of them can I create? Two. These burn for ages. What about sticks? Another one stick somewhere. There we go. Let's craft a couple more of those. I will need some wood as fuel. Right. Where are they? There they are. Stick you there. Can I get one in there? Yeah, of course I can. And one in here. Uh, split stack. Yeah, they never throw off as much light as I hoped they would. <laughs> but it's okay, I can see what I'm doing without burning my torch. Um, now the wooden torch, I didn't get, did I? Yeah, it's, you know, it's still really dark in here. I was expecting to be brighter than that. Have they adjusted the brightness of these? It certainly looks like I'm sure you used to have a bigger pool of light around them. Anyway, that's that done. Um, Fire pick can go away somewhere. Let's charge that up. Back, back in there. Water. And food. Go right. I'm going to go back to this. Um, thing I built over there. Oh, there it is. You can see, you can see it there. And I'm going to build a can. I think that's a really good idea. The cans. I'll grab a couple of carrots this time. Yeah, because this one's copper. Is this one copper? No, it's salt. The other one was copper, wasn't it? That's why I want to find the other one, because it's copper. It's really useful. And build a can. How do we build a can? Yeah, we're just going to see if we're looking. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I was expecting it to be a bit bigger than that. That could easily be missed. Uh, okay. That was sad. I can hear your terror horse, where are you? No. Alright. One last look for this one down here. Oh, yes. Come on, get out of water.
Oh, is that sweet corn? Corn on the cob. Not too tall swell. Tea is that? Oh, yeah, tea bush. I don't think I've actually made tea in this game. Um, come on, why is it bloody deep mining thing? I'm picking up a stone because I want to build a can by it, but. You can normally see them quite easily, that's the problem. When you get close to them, you can anyway. Um, so I'm struggling somewhere, I can't see it. Plenty of wheat around anyway. No, I certainly can't see it anywhere around here. And there have been backwards and forwards over here several times now. I may have to go back and look at the previous video, see where it uh, was. Yeah, been all over here, it's all over here before. And I really thought it was somewhere around here. There it is. Found it, you bugger. Copper, there we go. Right. How much stone have I got? Oh, not enough. So let's build a couple of these. And then get some stone, just quickly build a can. There's no chance of me losing it. There's got to be a rock somewhere around here I can mine. Don't want to get the twig. Um, that's silica. Any stone worth mining around here? How many do I need? 80 and I've got 60. That's 76 I can need in there, probably might do this. Pick them up off the floor. 83, that's enough. On the safe side. Right, let's build this feeble can. I was expecting it to be twice that size. Would have been more useful, I think, if it was bigger. But yeah, it is what it is. It's still a marker, which is more than we had before. Yeah, I'll be able to find that. So that's good. I'm pleased to find that. Time of day is at 6.30. 4.30, 16.30, sorry. Right, let's go and uh, do a bit more exploration. I know we're in a fairly safe-ish location around here. It's one of the starting areas. Um, when you start the missions already, I think you start down here. Um, I think I pulled up by that lake before as well. No, actually, I think it was down this side. Let's head this way. Obviously, the better food you get, the better um, boost you get. The 
something there, I don't know what it is. See me, whatever it is. Oh, it's a rabbit, there's a wolf up there as well. Baby deer, mummy deer, baby deer. There's a wolf. If you pick them up, you get your arrow back. And drop them and then um, harvest them. That's the other thing, I want the butcher's bench, don't I? So I can uh, butcher these better and get more materials from them. Okay. Got to be careful because there are bears more down this way, I believe, in these woods and things. Just be careful, I'm running like an idiot through it. It was a deer or something, or a chamois. Deer. The baby. Well, we're heading towards that side. It's getting a bit dark. Um, shower. I don't want to go too much further down here at this time of day. Just trying to get the map opened up a little bit. So let's head back. I think we've gone far enough for today. It's getting too dark. Am I heading in the right direction? Yeah, northeast. That's the way I want to go. So I'm going to be back in our base before it gets too dark. And we're running. running and we're running low on um, oxide or oxygen and water. That's been tweaked as well, I'm sure. I didn't think you ran out quite that quick previously. So bees and honey and thing were added to the game not that long ago when I was playing my previous playthrough. Um, they added honey and bees and uh, yeah that's quite a good addition as well. I made a couple of videos about that. Oh, it's getting too dark to see. There's our base with the torches in it. You can actually see the glow in the window now as well. Which helps. Let's turn my torch back on. I've been in the water, went out. There, meat. So let's. Is that all the meat I got? I thought I got more than that. Activate you. Don't need you, don't need you. Uh, you can go on the fire to cook. You can go in there. That's can you. And you can go on the fire to cook. Uh, 
sulfur way. Right, let's have a look. Uh, anything I need worth building at the moment? I built my armor, didn't I? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I've already got that. No, nothing at the moment, but I want to start unlocking some more of the workbenches. Um, which isn't really till level 2. Let's see if there's anything else here I need. No, nothing that's screamingly urgent. No. So just while we leave, let some time pass, I'll uh, get some more stones in as I've defeated it a bit. Let's see if the stone returns back. Stone wise, once you start getting metal tools, this is so much quicker. Obviously, the minute I'm using a stone tool to break stones, it's not very efficient. So, yeah, once you start getting the steel and uh, well, the iron and steel pickaxe and things like that, yeah, you, you just whiz through this. So, I'm only looking to get 100 stones so I can. Uh, Rebuild my stone pile. But to be honest, this stone does keep respawning. It saves me some hot land to go and get stone elsewhere. I'm going to start converting my building to stone. Because I need an awful lot of stone and iron, which means I'm going to need to find a mine. We put a big hole in that stone now anyway, so let's just quickly build a uh, stone pile. And replace the one I took away. Right guys, it is 8.20 in game time. I'm going to leave it there I think. I actually want to check, could I build when do you I just want to check if I have the windows. No doors. I couldn't remember what you needed to build windows. To unlock to build windows. Oh, it's that one. It is that one. It's a uh, wooden building trim set. Okay. Because windows used to be a separate thing. And then they grouped bits together. That make it easier. Early game to open up things. Because the walls, the floors, the roofs and everything were all separate as well. But they've grouped them up now. So like that one is uh, you know, beams, floor, walls. Uh, angled and thing and what have you, where previously there were separate items. So now that after the uh, group them up, I couldn't know which one to use to find the wooden windows. Just as you put a window over there, like a wooden trap over there. Not a wooden trap, a wooden, wooden shutter, that's what I meant, over the window. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Any comments, leave them below. Um, any tips, feel free to add them to the buttons uh, below as well. I do read them. As I said about that, you can now place it outside, it's down in here, take up loads of room. I may move that soon anyway over to that side just for this because I like to have my um forge and things on this side. It's just personal preference. Personal preference. I'm also thinking of pushing the base out one more that way. So when I convert stone, this will be in the middle. And I have the chimney things going up. I can add another floor in here as well. Um at some point. But yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time, Strike Fire Gamer, wishing you good night.